Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. A pleasure to be with you here. And uh, well, this is our last week of classes at this module. So remember that uh, we need to finish the whole platform by Thursday. It's very important. Also remember that uh, the Insta Forbes survey is going to be done this uh, Friday together in the class, of course. And uh, well, we're going to start. We're going to check about the platform first. So this is the class of tonight. Unit 4 is the one that we're going to start. And here is the, uh, the homework for tonight, the 4.1. You just need to take the correct option and send it. And that's it. Good. So Teacher, I have I have a problem with a three point one exercise. Negative I guess it's negative. Negative questions. Yeah, I guess it's the one that we checked last week. Uh -huh. Where you have to type three point one. Yeah, that's the one. Let me show you. Okay. okay. It's going to be like this. Okay. You can see that all of them are correct. Uh, you have to be careful uh, with the apostrophe. Uh, sometimes there are symbols that are different. It has to be exactly the one. Also here, there is a space. That is very important. If you don't set the space, it's not going to take it. And no spaces after the question mark. Okay. The most of the of homework when when we have to type it's a puzzle. Yeah, I know, I know <laughs> that sometimes is is a problem. But uh, I mean, if you have questions, of course we can check that one. And yeah, uh, so we are going to check what we all, all questions. All, all questions have space between between question mark. Yeah, so all the questions has to have with that space. So okay. Okay, I, I will try during the class. Okay, perfect, very good. Okay, so let's check about the attendance. So, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Teacher present, I'm sorry, Ana Claudia. Okay, okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. And Wendy Patricia. Oh, sorry. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Okay. All right. So let's start the class of tonight. We're going to start with. A little video. Okay. Not that big. So let's see how it goes. Here we go. As usual, we're going to check about that one and then uh, provide some comments, uh, some opinion about the video. Uh, what did you get or interesting facts? Here we go. Hello, my name is Emily Gasner. I'm with Working Solutions and I'm here to talk about how to uh, obtain funding for your business idea. So step one is you need to develop your business idea. Um, I recommend that you pick something that you have business and industry experience having done in the past because it will make it much easier 
um, to convince an entity, whether it's a bank, a friend, a family member, um, an alternative lending source like a nonprofit organization that makes loans, to lend you money if you do have experience doing in the type of business you want to start. So planning is one of the most important things that you can do to be successful in obtaining funding later on. So step two is going to be to create a business plan. And you don't need to be um, an MBA graduate in order to create a business plan. Basically what you need to do is put in writing the ideas that you have about your business. These include ideas like who the competition is, who your target customers are, uh, what type of product or service you'll be selling, and um, a variety of other things about what your business is going to be doing. So putting it in writing is very important. And there are a number of templates out there on the internet that you can access to um, easily type in answers into, for example, a word template of what a business plan is. So for example, I recommend going to score.org, S-C-O-R-E dot O-R-G. They have a template gallery with a business plan um, on the template gallery that you can use for your business plan. Also, I recommend that you reach out to organizations um, in your community that help entrepreneurs get started and help them with their business planning. All around the country, there are a variety of different nonprofits that serve entrepreneurs, whether it is a nonprofit that um, provides loans and so they help people develop business plans, or there are organizations called small business development centers that are generally around the whole country. And they have consultants that if you put together a draft of your plan for free can meet with you and sit down with you and go over your business plan and how to improve it. Um, so having a very good business plan will set you up for receiving funding. The third step is to go to um, whether it's a friend, family member, bank, there are nonprofit organizations that do make loans um, of different sizes as well. Economic development departments in local um, your city where you are also make loans and approach them and find out um, what type of uh, businesses do they fund, what are their loan terms, do you qualify. And you should definitely know how much money you need before you actually approach a lender and ask them for funding. So a lot of times people ask me, um, just give me the most amount of money that you can give me without actually going back and thinking, okay, I need $5,000 for my bakery. That means I need in ingredients, supplies, equipment, and really have a list of what you would use the loan for. Um, the financial institution or the lender should guide you through the loan process and let you know how long it will take. And the more information that you have about your business, and you need to have your tax returns ready for the last three years, you need to have your resume prepared. Most importantly, you need to run your personal credit before you approach a lender. The lender always wants to make sure that you're current on your obligations and that you can meet um, any personal obligations that you have in addition to adding more debt on top of what you already have. Um, with a good loan package, a strong loan package, and a good personal credit score, you'll be much better positioned to get a loan from a business. Okay, very clear, of course. So, what did you get on the video? Okay, teacher. This is uh, an important information about how to to most of the important part, I think, is uh, to get the money, to get the money to start and uh, there is uh, the the girl said that you need to uh, go to a uh, enterprise or a project of business in what the the area in what you have have some experience because that is the most easy way that uh, you can get along if you have experience in doing is uh, more possible that you can get the money and uh, you need to have a business plan and uh, then you need to go to the institution that can, or the person that can get the, the money to you and try to convince them. That is so important and practical guide and recommendation that you have your tax expired at least three years before, something like, like that is uh, important. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, there are many things that has to be with this one. I mean, for example, if you remember when we were speaking about the business plan, that is a very good way for you to present to a bank or to somebody that's going to give you the money. So that's why the business plan is very important. But financial, yeah, if you don't have the money, 
Even if you have a million dollar idea, it's not gonna work, right? Good, any other comments or opinion? Well, teacher, when you make a loan to, to invest in a, uh, in a business, maybe she give us a, a good option or maybe good advice that is planning and how you will increase that loan that you made to pay it, uh, in less time. I, I believe that. Most of the time when you uh, make a loan, you have to pay in less time that you are planning. So for that, I, I believe that they, uh, that she mentioned that we need to plan uh, what you have to do with that money. Okay, definitely. That is so important. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's very important, I mean, because uh, yeah, the idea has to be solid and many other things. And I mean, uh, not only getting the money is important, but also the use that you are going to have with that one. So it's going to be realistic, right? And it has to be yeah. according to. Yeah, definitely. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So we're going to start the unit number four, financing, as you may see there in the video. Now, in this one, it says I will be able to ask the most suitable financing strategy for the startup company. So, uh, it says that we're going to state alternative ways to finance a business idea. Probably the most common are the banks or something like that one, right? But when well, you can uh, try to get investors here in Salvador, is, I don't know companies or institutions that they do that one. Maybe we can research on that. Describe the function of the fundamentals financial statements. Describe the fundamental of bootstrapping financial strategy and access the most suitable financing strategy for a startup company. Yeah, I believe that for a startup company, I mean, it's kind of difficult because you don't have any assets, right? When you have already a business and people know that one, I mean, it's a little bit easier if everything is healthy, okay? So let's check about some vocabulary. What is venture capital? You can look for that one over the internet and tell me what is venture capital, my friends. Anybody? It's something like uh, the capital you get from your associates. Something like that? I see. Yes. Uh, yeah, the money is uh, definitely the capital, right? So the one that you are going to get. So, and uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it refers to the way that you're going to get that one. But venture, why venture? Anybody knows that? Venture. Mm -hmm. Uh, I found a definition that says venture capital is a form of private e equity that invests in new or emerging companies that have high growth potential or have show high growth. Very good. So that is it. So it's capital, it's money that some investors put into companies, most likely startups or uh, medium size that they want to grow, right? And then uh, there is like a risk that they have to manage for this in, in, in investment that they are going to do. So something like that one, right? It's related to a risk, they evaluate. I mean, yeah, this is a good idea. It's a, uh, everything sounds good. So we're going to risk our money and give it the opportunity. Good, revenue, that is an easy one. What is revenue? Is the, the incomes, the income you get for your sales, selling process. Very good. It's the income that you have whenever you sell anything or you sell a service or product, anything like that. Very good. Private investors. That's an easy one as well. I think it's when you go to another person that is not a bank or not the, the state, you get to with other personal, other companies. That is it. So when you convince people that have the resources, the money, 
uh, that they invest in your company, right? So you have to convince them, you have to bring the idea, the numbers, uh, this financial statements. And when they check on to that one, they say, yes, I'm going to give you the money uh, with this percentage. I mean, whenever the, the business is successful, you're going to give me this money back. And I'm going to take this kind of amount of decisions, things like that. So these are negotiation, but they are the ones who are going to put the money into this. Sure, thank. Something like that. Yeah, very good. Okay. Uh, huh? So some days, uh, some some years ago, there was. Uh, I think this is still doing that kind of of, of uh, organization, but uh, Fusal organized a a, a group of a. Uh, entrepreneurs that uh, give some ideas, they give the capacitation, they, they bring people from another country, from, from Chile, from Spain, and give some uh, instructions or training. And at the end, uh, two weeks, at the end, uh, every group will present a project. And there are some investors and the investor uh, contacting private, they, no, not in public, like Chartam, I mean, private. <laughs> Uh, who 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 idea who uh, has the idea or what was the idea that uh, they want to 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 impulse and uh, uh, unfortunately I, I I can go to the last to the last session that the session that we uh, we need to present and the other people of the group can, can do it well and uh, we don't get the money but but. Uh, 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 our project in that time is, was about uh, 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 doing a healthy food for kids in, in the schools. Uh, you give, uh, bring the, the, the food to the school in the time of the student get the, the, the break. So she learned that it was a good idea, but we can present, because that is important. You need to present in a, in a good way, in a, in a convincing way. Okay, so yes, very good because I mean, um, I didn't know that that existed. Do you know if that is every year or uh, it was just that time? In, in, in that that event, uh -huh. uh, it was about uh, twenty eighteen, something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, maybe we can research and check, right? So, for example, we can get the money for Marvin and the app that he's going to. <laughs> track all the buses, routes, and things and all that. That would be a good idea. And everybody has a good idea so you can present. So, but the, the thing is that sometimes we don't know that they exist, right? We don't know that there are some some options, right? For example, I remember that when the pandemic came, uh, the government, they were giving some money, right? Money for people to invest or to continue operating and not closing that one. So that was an, an interesting thing. Good. The last one is uh, the one that we know already. Let's check. What is a loan? It's the money you receive and you need to pay some interest for that. And you need to justify what is the what is the, the, the purpose of that loan. That is it. Very good. So, yeah, you go to a bank or a financial institution, you present the project, uh, and they ask you a few questions. Depending on the financial institution, they have different requirements. And then they tell you, here's the money. Okay, go and do your thing and pay the interest. Uh, that was, I mean, uh, money is very expensive sometimes, right? But it's something that, I mean, when you want to uh, invest and create something, sometimes, I mean, it's, it's impossible to save money for you to do it yourself. So you need to pay for that one. I was reading that that was invented by the youth. Not a strange idea, so. <laughs> yes, it's difficult. All right, resources, we saw already one thing. So let's check on more vocabulary that we will we'll be checking onto that one uh, throughout the week. What is bootstrapping? Anybody can check into that one, please? I see bootstrapping is when you start with nothing and uh, you start from the very beginning with your idea and, and don't have a you have the idea, but don't have the money, don't have the resources, don't have the only the idea, and, and you start doing it by yourself. Yeah, so yeah, you start from out of nothing. Sometimes, yeah, you can have some investment, 
uh, yeah, but that is it. Like you have something and you build that one. So uh, as we say before, probably we all, we have some good ideas, but sometimes it's difficult, right? To get the money, to sit down and create a plan. Uh, I mean, you can see here that it's a, a, a big thing. I mean, not only the things that we have checked during this course, but marketing, right? That you have to know what will be the strategy for marketing, human resources, that is something that also we need to consider. Many things have to be done, so it's not that easy. Okay, uh, the other one says statement of retained earnings. What is that? Statement of retained earnings. Let me check. Of course, take your time. You can research and investigate. Has anybody found what is a statement of retained earnings? I found, I found something that is a financial statement that outlines the changes in retained earnings for a company over a special day. Statement in retained earnings is also known as a statement of owner's equity, an equity statement. Very good. So that is it. Sometimes um, at the end of a period, a year, or um, in the middle, of course, they can decide. The company, uh, the stakeholders, they decide, uh, are we going to get our money at the end of the period or we're going to reinvest that one? So they decide that one and this is like the statement on that. So they decide and they check how it's going to be. Sometimes it can be partially retained and partially uh, exposed. So that would be it. The other one is something that we checked already, profit and loss statements. What is that? This is another financial uh, statement that is reflect what you get or what you lose in your business. <laughs> yeah, that is it, right? So it's a statement that reflects uh, at the end of the operations, the expenses, and many other things, uh, if you got some profit or if you lost money, right? At the beginning of the businesses, almost always you have losses, right? It's like the normal way unless it's a, a huge idea, right? But since you invest sometimes in building, machinery, uh, training, a lot of things, yeah, most likely it's going to be a loss. Uh, depending on the business, you can expect to have profit on the second or third year and uh, not that much time, right? But uh, yeah, depending on the operations and that one. It's so, revenue costs and revenue costs and expenses, right? Uh, yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay, the other one we also checked into that one. What is the cash flow statement? Is the effective flow in the in a company how effective how how much money it enters and how much money it goes up? Or how, how how much are your expenses? How much are your incomes? And and what is the I don't know in in what period if. Uh, a day or I don't know, a month or a week, I don't know, but it's uh, incomes and expense. Very good. So that is it. So the cash flow is like the liquidity, right? So yes. how, how is flowing the money, right? So uh, how much money do I have? How has being spent uh, the money uh, at certain times? So it's going to be showing some like that. Good. So as you can see, some of those, the most of those, we checked that already. And we're gonna check about a little grammar. How to use sentences that will that with a negative word, right? Now we check this already, right? I never really I know, but this is different. So so let's check who's gonna read this one. Uh let's see. Um, Fernando Marvin, could you please help me reading this chart? Sure, teacher. 
uh, negative words like never, rarely, or expression like hardly ever are used at the beginning of a sentence to emphasize the negative element. When I never did I imagine how hard it would be to get the funding for the project to begin. Compared to one B, I never imagined how hard it would be to get the funding for the project to begin. Okay. And two A, really does an investor agree to financing a business without demanding equity in exchange? Compared to an investor really agrees to finance a business without demanding equity in exchange. And 3A, hardly ever will a bank approve a loan to any entrepreneur with a weak business plan. Compared to a bank, will hardly ever approve a loan to any entrepreneur with a weak business plan. When a negative is used at the beginning of a sentence, A, the sentence word order is inverted to question word order. B, it is necessary to add the auxiliary verb do does did for simple present and past tense statements. Okay, very good. So this is it. Uh, sometimes uh, we can use words like never, rarely, hardly ever, and some other negative words like uh, adverse of frequency that are like negative with negative con connotation. Uh, and what we do is we emphasize. That's the only thing. Okay, so if we compare, for example, the first one says, Never did I imagine how hard it would be to get the funding for the project to begin. So never is the emphasis there, right? The other one is like a regular statement. Uh, B, I never imagined how hard it would be to get the funding for the project to begin. So on the second one, it's like an expression. I never imagined, I mean. But then and the first one, it's like never did I imagine. I mean, it's more, it's, it, I never thought about that one. So the emphasis is on that one. And when we do that one, never goes at the beginning and then the structure is going to be like a question. Uh, and for example, if we remove never there, you will see that it says, did I imagine how hard it would be to get the funding for the project to begin? It's like a structure for a question. So, but then we put never at the beginning, it's not a question, uh, but we emphasize that one. I, I mean, I. This is impossible to imagine, right? So something like that one. The same happens on the second example. Rarely does an investor agree to financing a business without demanding equity in exchange. On the other one, it's like a regular statement. An investor rarely agrees to finance a business without demanding equity in exchange. Again, the structure is going to be the same. At the beginning, we're going to use the expression, uh, rarely in this case, and then the structure is like a question. Does an investor agree to financing a business without demanding equity in exchange, for example? So we need to use the auxiliary there, okay? So that is the most important part here. So if you are going to use any of those words at the beginning, it's because you emphasize that word, okay? Let's check the other one. Hardly ever will a bank approve a loan to any entrepreneur with a weak business plan. So hardly ever at the beginning, and then, as uh, you can see there, is our question structure. Will a bank approve a loan? So you can see that it's exactly the same. And it's different from the other one in that one, in the emphasis. A bank will hardly ever approve a loan. So this is the, like a regular expression that you are saying. But in the first one, you emphasize on that one. Hardly ever. So it's no, you are not going to get it. So, and Did there you... is... Uh -huh, go ahead. Sorry. In the 4.7, in the platform, there are an expression which rarely, rarely, and uh, uh, at the beginning, it is missing the, the auxiliary. And I was trying with do, but uh, it was talking in future. I think it's, uh, it will not be do, but uh, will, uh, in the, the hardly ever will. That is correct. So. So depending, I mean, you can use any auxiliary depending on the structure of the thing. Sometimes, uh, as we discussed at the beginning of the class, sometimes it's tricky. Uh, so you can give it a shot with different auxiliaries. So you can check what would be the, the one. If it's not this, working. Uh -huh. The expression at the beginning, rarely it needs an auxiliary 
and then the, the subject and something like that. If you change the order, you can uh, put first the one, the subject, and then the expression really. Yeah, like that is in correct. the two A and two B. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. does. Uh, that's auxiliary. And the second one don't have auxiliary. Investor rarely agrees. Exactly. So yeah. Okay. And the, and the, whenever you use these expressions at the beginning, then you are going to need an auxiliary because you are emphasizing on rarely, for example. But if you don't, if you use like a normal one, that is the all the exercises B, uh, you use the uh, you don't use the auxiliary and you just say that one. So agrees, for example, in that one, right? So uh, let me let me understand. Whenever I use rarely, I need to use the auxiliary. No, when you use these expressions at the beginning of the sentence mm -hmm. for example all the examples that are a never d then you use the auxiliary because never is the first word in mm -hmm. the 2a rarely does because rarely is the first word mm -hmm. or when you say hardly ever will the auxiliary there is will so the structure is going to be like a regular question will a bank approve or does an investor agree like a question or did i am i in how okay so that will be the change. Mm, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you do it the other way, it's the way that we already know. I, mm -hmm. I never imagined. So that is something that is in a normal way, right? But in the first one, it's like to emphasize the never, and then you have to use the auxiliary uh, in a structure as a question. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. And uh, yeah, the last part is actually the the explanation right? when a negative is used at the beginning of a sentence the sentence word order is inverted to a question word order and we need to add the auxiliary okay any auxiliary not only those one right so any auxiliary that you might use for the sentence okay do you have any questions about this i will try to to do the exercise now, and I, I, I tell, I tell yes, you. Yes, the I, first I, one, I'm in, stuck yes, in yes, the rarely. Oh, yes, okay. rarely, but uh, I, I was using do, but I, at the now I, think that I will use do. will. Okay, I so will. give it a shot, and if it's not working, we can check it out, okay? And okay. in the meantime, we're going to do the exercise. I don't know if it's the same, sometimes it's the same. Read the statements below, correct the Three mistakes related to the use of negative words in sentence initial position. Check your answers with a partner. So we're going to do it uh, together here. I'm going to give you a few minutes and uh, then we're going to check together. Okay. In fact, the, the first one, the first one is that. Uh, that, that the that, one for the platform. Yes. Ah, okay. yes. This is the first one. The one for the platform. Yes. Uh, the confusion for me is because it's already using will in the middle of the sentence. Yes, but uh, if you use the auxiliary. I think really will entrepreneur for micro business request. I think that is mm. the yeah. correct way. Yeah. So will is going to be after that one as a regular question. If you go here, will and then the yes. subject and then. Uh... Rare, you say rare, rarely will entrepreneurs or micro business request exactly. yes. that will yes. be it. and okay. the rest is the same yeah so we did the first one i guess <laughs> anyways i'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into <laughs> that one okay
Okay, have you finished already? Almost teacher. Okay, let's wait a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so let's check. The first one, we already made that one, so we know that that is one of the first mistakes. What about the yeah. second one? Is correct? Is not correct? Uh, I, th I think it's correct, the second one. Okay, everybody. The first one is, is really will. I, I, I will do it in the platform, and it is correct. Very good. So, ready will entrepreneurs of micro businesses request, right? Very good. That would be number two. So uh, it's correct. Everybody agrees on that one? In the flat front shows incorrect. And number two? Yeah. Number two. two. Yeah. Ah, okay. No. Just but I, I copy and paste <laughs> and it's not working. Uh, something yeah, is missing. I have the same. I have the same. In, the, in the, the platform, only the first one is incorrect. The other, no, the other three you need only to put correct. No, you no. know, the, the I also removed the, the point. I left a space. I'm doing in the in the only the first one you need to correct. Exactly. The second For three, the... four and five, mm -hmm. you only need to put correct. Uh -huh. You don't have to paste anything. You want to, to, to write the, the sentence. I copied the sentences in is wrong. Exactly. You you don't have to copy anything. You just need to you it. need to write it down. No. Only the first one you need to correct. Let me ah, it. got it. Got the it. Second and it will be in spaces. You only need to write correct. Uh-huh. Just, just word, write correct. correct. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, the word correct. I did exactly. agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that, we don't don't hurry. misunderstanding the uh -huh. We read on the hurry, my friend. Let's see. So the, uh -huh. let me just I will do it here very fast. Because I I didn't do that before. No, but if I leave empty the spaces? No, 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 empty. no, no. correct. You have no, to period. Right. No? Only correct. correct. Let Only me correct get. in lowercase. Without period. There is it. It says, look what yes. it says. It says, uh, read the statement below. Only one sentence has a mistake. Type it correctly. The other sentences are uh, are correct. When you find them, just type the word correct. So the first one is incorrect. So it's the one that we checked. And in the other ones, just type the word correct. Let me just try on the second one. Yes, I agree in the same way. It's correct. Everything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if, 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 if one person has it correct, the platform is fine. So that yeah. will do it. Let me try. Uh, with this platform, you don't know what's going, going to happen if the space is missing, if you need to copy and paste. That is true. No, but this one I don't see any any problem to be honest with you. The only thing is that we need to write uh, read the uh, the directions because here it says right when you find them just type the word correct. So that will be it. Yes, sometimes I mean if we have a period or if this is a capital letter, but those are the things that we need to check every time okay. that we have them. The second one you say that I need just to write it down. Mm -hmm. 
The second one only needs to write correct. The word correct. The word correct, not the sentence. The word. You're watching my, my screen, right? Let me, no, no, no. I'm not watching your screen. No, oh. let me just go ahead. That's oh what, my God. <laughs> yeah, actually, okay, that, that's what, yeah, that's what it says. Uh, that's what it says on the direction, right? The other three sentences are correct. When you find them, just type the word correct. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so here uh, in the in this one we are we agree that this is correct. So what about number three? It's correct too. It's yes. correct too, right? Before Never the explanation of the of the, the book, I was what is this? <laughs> because never it said I thought it was never I have heard. <laughs> and I yeah. thought it was what I'm saying, but no. No, actually if you read that one, you you find it strange, right? Never have I heard mm -hmm. of you you can think, oh man, what is this? But mm -hmm. is it possible? The the only difference is that uh not only when you write, but also when you say these kind of sentences, you need to emphasize in the first word, never have I heard of happy end. So that is also mm -hmm. very important. So everybody understand what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Is that correct or is not correct? I see it's incorrect. It's the same the first one. Okay, scarcely will. Okay. Scarcely a will venture capital invest, right? Yes. And the rest is going to be exactly the same. Very good. Nice. So you can see that we're learning things, right? Nice. Number, uh, we're number five, right? Yes. Is that correct? It's not correct? Yes, it's correct. It's, it's correct. correct. Okay, everybody agrees, I guess. And number six, is well, that is, should be incorrect, right? That is incorrect. How is Hardly that? ever can. Very good. Hardly ever can a family member or friends provide enough capital for an entrepreneur idea to get started without requesting a loan. So the can here is like, it's a model verb, but this is like the auxiliary, right? The auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I believe that with the practice, everything is clear, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Nice. Interesting. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, all these things, we're going to check that later on. And we're going to check, actually, we're going to finish the book today. So you are able to move on with the platform if you want. So how to open a paragraph effectively. This is something that we checked in the past, right? So uh, about some some things about the way that you're gonna you're gonna write a paragraph. So how to open a paragraph effectively, introductory strategies part three. That's why it says part three. And it says look the examples in the box. Uh, they complete the practice below. And this is going to be for uh, let's see who's gonna read this. Marcus, could you please help us read this chart? Okay. Um, uh, look at the example in the box, then complete the pra practice below. Mm -hmm. uh, for the funeral, another way to introduce, introduce a paragraph and catch the attention of the audience is to present the point. The, the paragraph will discuss from general to a specific. The following paragraph will change the idea that for entrepreneurs to be successfully, they must be innovate, innovative. Is innovation the key for entrepreneurs to succeed? Apple, eCloud, Microsoft, SkyDrive, Google Cloud, and Dropbox are all different brands to name the same service. If innovation were key, how can one explain the fact that the German somewhere brothers have created a company worth a billion dollars by copying top companies like Pinterest? Group on an e buy In time when being innovative, the best business strategy for a startup is to copy successfully business models. The funeral begins with a general idea of legal copy of the same online service product. It continues then engaging the reader with an example of 
a profitable company that has copied successful business models. Once the copying idea is more evident, the writer presents the topic sentence for a graph that will present the advantage of not being innovative. Very good, perfect. So uh, this is kind of easy. I mean, uh, the name of the strategy is the funnel. So another way to introduce a paragraph in a, and catch the attention of the audience is to present the point the paragraph will discuss from general to specific. So this is this is it. It's going to be very easy. And uh, it says the following paragraph will challenge the idea that for entrepreneurs to be successful, they must be innovative. So you can see here this. This is very important because in the paragraph, the the writer challenge to people that the idea for entrepreneurs to be successful is to be innovative. So is is it true? Is it true that just being uh, innovative is going to be the key for being successful? So that is the idea of the paragraph. So and it says. Is innovation the key for entrepreneurs to succeed? So there is, right, is the challenge. What do you think? Do you think it's innovation? And it starts with a general idea and then goes to the specific one. Apple iCloud, Microsoft SkyDrive, Google Cloud, and Dropbox are all different brands to name the same service. If innovation were key, how can one explain the fact that the German Sauer brothers have created a company worth a billion dollars by copying top companies like Pinterest, Groupon, and eBay. In times when being innovative is a risk, the best business strategy for startup is to copy successful business models. So it's a challenge, okay? So it's, so it's saying something general, but at the, at the end it's going to specific things. And it says at the, at the end, the funnel begins with a general idea of legal copies of the same online storage product. It continues then engaging the reader with an example of a profitable company that has copied successful business models. Once the copying idea is more evident, the writer presents the topic sentence for a paragraph that will present the advantages of not being innovative. So it's, I guess, a very easy way. So. This is the third strategy. We have checked other two that was like have uh, the first one is like the uh, the presentation of the topic and then you summarize other paragraphs about that one and things like that one as you may remember. Okay, do you have any questions about the funnel? Okay, all right. So it says write a topic sentence for the paragraph. Write an idea for an introductory sentence or two, applying the final strategy. Write a 15-line paragraph. Well, 15 is, is too much, I guess, but we're going to write a paragraph that opens with the final strategy. Okay? We're not going to mail. We're going to do it right now so we can practice that one. I'm going to leave here this one, and we're going to write. I mean, this one has, I mean, has four lines. Four lines is good enough. Okay? Uh, and a topic. It's very important that you are going to tell first the topic and then the introduction of the topic that is going to be like this. It's not necessary that it's a challenge. I mean, it can be any kind of introduction, okay? Uh, but it has to be from general to specific. That is the rule here, okay? It can be about anything that you may want to. So, uh, do you have any questions about the exercise that we're going to do right now? Clear as horchata. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to give you a few minutes. This is going to take a little while, I guess. And uh, then you are going to share with us uh, what did you write, okay?
Have you finished already or do you need more time? One or two minutes more, teacher. Of course, I will give you a little bit more. Thank you. 
Okay, let's check and see how it goes. If it's possible for you, send the paragraph uh, to the chat and then read it so we can both watch and uh, listen to the words. If it's not possible, if you made it in paper, so you can just read it. So who wants to be the first one? Me, teacher. Very good. So let's listen to David. Okay. I will put the paragraph in the chat. Okay. But sorry, my computer is slow. Yeah, your time. Well, I used to reading and when the computer give me the opportunity, I will share. Of course. The first sentence is regular exercise only good for physical health. Okay. And then the, the paragraph mm -hmm. when it comes to leading a healthy lifestyle, regular exercise is often presented as one of the most important habits to cultivate. While physical health benefits such as such a weight loss improve cardiovascular health and stronger muscles are central, certainly important. There are also numerous additional benefits that come with a regular exercise routine that might not be immediately apparent. We can see how these heightened benefits of exercise can ultimately lead to improve overall well-being and even increase productivity. You will improve your mood, reduce stress levels, and get a better sleeps and don't <laughs> give me the chance to to share sorry <laughs> no problem if you have the chance that's fine but uh, yeah it was a good path very good perfect thank you very much david okay who wants to be the next one Hello, teacher. very good so let's check with marvin Okay, this, this is my, my paragraph is about my, my app. Some point in the future when the app is a great successful. All right. <laughs> so the, I, I put in the chat. Okay. I will put. Okay. okay. And the paragraph says, never miss another bus with our real time tracker. Our new app make it easy to track buses in real time with up-to-date information on bus locations, estimated arrival times, and alert for delays or changes to the schedule. Our app is a helpful for is a helpful tool for anyone who relies on public transportation. Whether you need to catch the next bus or plan your route in advance, our app. Our app provides reliable information to help you stay on the schedule. A recent survey shows that over 90% of users have seen an improvement, improvement in their commute since using our app. We are proud to be part of the growing trend towards a smarter and more convenient public transportation. So Very good. that's it. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Uh, it's a very good paragraph. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, who wants to be the next one now? Okay, so I will choose that. I will. I will. Ah, okay, let's listen to Jose Wilfredo. Okay, every second that passed, the world is moving forward. Every second is not enough time to know how the world is moving forward. You wouldn't believe me if I tell you that since 1980s, the AI was created and you can type your question and even create some picture just with time. Other good advance to let you know with, with this article is the first mobile device was created in 19. 1973, and was a big device with a little green screen. And now we have some 
devices that you can assign a picture as a wallpaper. And you don't know how much time, uh, we don't have to, uh, too much time to continue, but we know that you will be pending of your, with, uh, you will be pending of for the next article. That's it. Very good, perfect, I liked it. So it was a very good pile, perfect. Thank you very much for sharing. Okay, uh, who wants to be the next one, Ryan? Okay, so I guess this time, yes, I will choose. Let's check with Roxana. Not possible. Uh, Dora Elizabeth. Okay, teacher. It's a, a short paragraph. Okay, that's fine. I have two paragraphs. Uh, the first, the entrepreneurs in are creative, but sometimes need trained business in business administration, management, and sales, marketing, etc. This is this is an invent. It is in El Salvador about sixty percent of entrepreneurs doesn't grow up because they haven't the tools or knowledge for that. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, it's an, an introductory one. Nice. Uh, let's check with Eliana Giselle. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> um, my paragraph. I I don't know if I forgot, but the we have to choose a topic about the unit four, or just any topic. Any topic was fine. Uh, okay, I choose the entrepreneurship. Okay. Okay, entrepreneurship, and now it's a popular uh, college major. Uh, with a focus on a study in ideation, new venture creation, and profit driven models. Entrepreneurs come in all shapes and size, including small business owners, content creators, startup funders, and anyone who has the ambition to build a business and work for themselves. While I, as, <clears throat> sorry, while aspiring entrepreneurs have the potential to earn massive fame and and money by starting a successful business. Entrepreneurship is not without its it's not without its hazards. Here are and we have some uh, pros and cons about the entrepreneurship. Okay. That's all. Very good, perfect. Thank you. It was very good. Liked it. Nice. Let's check uh, Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Not possible. Luis Albert Steve. Not possible. Juan Miguel Brand. Not possible either. Wendy Patricia. Everybody is outside now. Jose Marcus. Okay. Okay. Um, around of eighty percent of the population of the United States. Uh, sorry, sorry. And the the meaning is why the most of people live live in the coast of the United States. Around of eighty percent of population of the United States live in the west and the east coast. And in the middle of the country extends a vertical line that crosses some states that together cannot even reach the population of California. This will say that at the beginning of the United States, the former Delaware reached the coast, the East Coast, from Europe. Uh, and their defeat was reach the other coast. So to reach the other coast, they even crossed the whole country. Uh, in in ships 
But why? Uh, well, the truth is that in the middle of the country, a lot of mountain and desert takes place in the majority of the territory. Added to this, the weather doesn't contribute to sell down a big city. So that's why the major population lives in the coast of the United States. Okay, very good. Yes, it's, it's a very nice one. And yes, it goes from general to specific. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, let's check Anna Claudia. My goodness, I was just writing some ideas. And uh, let's see uh, we go. it goes. Okay. Okay. Uh, is artificial intelligence going to save or destroy the world? Nowadays, people is just talking about different programs and applications for artificial intelligence. People is afraid of the future we lead world. I'm sorry, will it work? Will artificial intelligence destroy us as humans? Will will be a will we be able to live with changes in an overcoming situation? Never the soul of the human being can be copied, copied or cloned for a machine. I was just, <laughs> I was just right. No, but it was good. It was good. I liked it. So it was very good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Jose Osmin Rivas. Not possible. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa. Not possible either. Um, Jarvin Isaac Guevara. Okay, so that's it. So I guess I asked everybody. Ah, Roxana, do you have that already? Okay. Uh, well, my paragraph is about um business plan. Uh, let me. Um, it's a uh, short. We have a business idea and don't and don't know where to start. We can help you. Tell us about your product and we develop the idea from the market environment, the purpose, budget, publicity, and possible improvements to your idea. Let us develop your business. Okay, very good, perfect. So that was a good one. Nice. Um, anybody else from the ones that are missing? Okay, very good. So yeah, it's, you can see this is very easy. You just need to go and check into that one. My best advice for you is to check, to start checking how to write an essay, okay? Remember that in the test that you are going to do in the certification, Yes, you need to. You need to write an essay. So it's a very good idea for you to check the structure, the basic structure of an essay, right? So and uh, I don't remember how many words does it have to have. It has a minimal of words. But we can check into that one later on, um, because uh, this is why we're checking this. And we're checking this because you will have to to move forward. Uh, we're not gonna do this. And here is something interesting. I mean, we uh, this is something about uh, how everything goes together, right? We have a business plan. We create a budget. Uh, maybe the one that is missing here are the financial statements that can be inside of the business plan, of course, and some financial options for you to look for the money and move forward with your idea. And that's it. We finish the book. So let's say that you're ready to finish the platform right now. So remember that it has to be done by this incoming Thursday. By Thursday, everything has to be done. And remember that the, um, the survey from uh, Insaform is going to be done together on Friday. Other than that, 
we just need to move on with the class this week, practice, and, and that's it, right? Vacation again. <laughs> Very well. Um, do you have any question before we move on? Mm, no, teacher. Okay. Very good. So it's practice time. So let's discuss what do you want to talk about? It's going to be a free topic today. Do you have a something interesting that you have seen in the news? Or about anything else? I have I, I always read the news, you know. For example, I was checking that an 18 years old uh, boy, he created the universe in Minecraft. My goodness, that is interesting. It's it's not easy to create things that in, in Minecraft. I mean. And it's, it's funny and everything like that, but, but he said that he researched, he, I mean, he created black holes and things that one. So that was interesting. Maybe some, it's not something that we can discuss about, but it's interesting, right? So there are things that are interesting. Another thing that I was reading about that is very sad is that there was another shoot in the United States, right? Uh, by any chance, do you know how many shoots have, have been on this year? I guess there are around 60, 60 or something that people are crazy, right? So uh, that is interesting that we can discuss about it. For example, one of the questions that comes to my mind is why? Why people do anything like that? What do you believe that is the reason for that? Why do people do Go that out. kind of things? Yeah. It is a challenging question. Yeah. Uh, because we need to to be some like psychologists. <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I think that there are uh, now there are many uh, spaces for the people. Uh, you not, you don't need to be a good athlete. You don't need to be a good artist. You can be a good YouTuber. You can be a good Instagrammer. You can be a good uh, I don't know what is social social media success. But if you can you you, you don't have access to that kind of of uh, celebrity or that kind of success. And you need you you want to get the attention, and uh, I think this was a a, a constant in the uh, people that do evil things from the the very beginning, because uh, they want to be recognized for something, and some in this uh, in this book how to how to okay how to win friends and uh, i don't know del carney write a book is how to make friends and something like that and uh, they they share stories of the people that was in jail the first things the people ask for is the 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 newspaper that they picture is or the the news of what they do is, and they they want to know that this was the best uh, delinquent or best best uh, or, or the more evil thing, because they need to be in the first place in something. And if we uh, uh, add to that situation that uh, there is no space, like we talked the last time, that there is no space. We in the the, the us, uh, we go to the river, we go to the, and we run and uh, we climb uh, tree, trees and we uh, throw stones to the, <laughs> to the mangoes and, and uh, we do many things that uh, let us to express our wild mood <laughs> to be an, an uh, to have adventures. And uh, there is no time. Uh, there are some in the video video games, but uh, the people need more, more, something more, something more. And they, they get the, the full of the video games. 
and they need to go to to real life <laughs> to, to do something like that and, and there is a very a very difficult situation and if we know that it's so easy to get a gun and uh, we can put up the elements and uh, this, uh, there are the receipt for a tragedy. The, the people that uh, get uh, disturbed, the people that uh, get affected for something. And uh, one expert said one time that we don't know how evil we, we can be. We don't know, it depends on the situation. I, I remember that I, in one occasion, this is off the record because <laughs> it's okay. an, uh, some difficult story for me. Okay. But uh, in, the, in the public transportation, there was a, a group of, of, of guys disturbing my wife. And I get so angry, so angry that I pushed them out of the bus. And the bus driver closed the door and the people can get out. I don't know. I, I, I saw that they get up, and, but they obviously they get uh, uh, some hurts, but uh, don't don't. But uh, after that, I I, I reflect in myself. We can be evil sometimes, and uh, if we have the the means, uh, we have a gun. Imagine if I if I had a gun in that situation. Maybe I was in jail now, because uh, it's a situation that gets you. If if uh, uh, sometimes my my little my little girl uh, was trapped because the, the bus driver closed the door, and the 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 the, the girl was trapped in between the door and. And my wife and I out, and and I running uh, uh, behind the, the bus, uh, and the bus stop and uh, give me the, the girl, and I, I I go to the to the bus driver, but but the guy was intelligent more than me, and they put their hands to see, put in her knees, and uh, ask me for 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 I give the pardon and. That situation, uh, get out of my, 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 my anger. The, the, the guy was intelligent. I am not intelligent in that moment. And we don't know. We don't know how evil we can be. And uh, it is important if we don't, if we don't have the, the, the means, if we don't have the, the gun, if we don't have, uh, we deal with the situation in other way. But if we have, if I had a gun in my room, or my father had a gun, I take the gun and I try to solve the situation like the people in the movies do. And mm -hmm. it is a, 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 a difficult world to live on. Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's difficult. It's complex. And you are right also. I mean, sometimes I, I, everybody, we get angry, right? Sometimes we scream at people, we shout. Uh, and I I don't know, many things are going on. Giselle. I just want to say thank you to David for sure, for the trust and for sure that with us. Thank you, David. Okay. <laughs> Good. So, yes, I mean, uh, I guess the, that's why some people, a lot of people there in the U.S., they say uh, stop with the guns, right? That is not that easy to get that one because what you say is true. I mean, sometimes... Everybody, we, everybody, we are angry sometimes. Uh, sometimes we say things that we don't have to say. But imagine, imagine if we had a gun every time that we got angry. We don't know what could happen, right? So, and that's the problem in the U.S. That, I mean, you're angry and then you say, I'm going to do this right away, right? Uh, I mean, it's not the same to say something hurtful and then come and say, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that one. But if you kill somebody, I mean, there's no turn back, right? So it's done and you have to face the consequences, right? So and it's very interesting that that happens 
I mean, the U.S. that that countries it had something right. Uh, I mean, this country was one of the most violent at some time, but it was because people they were assaulting and getting money. But it's oh, I mean, it was because of a reason. But it's not just because. I'm angry, I'm gonna kill somebody. Maybe one or two cases. I mean, probably that happened. But not like that one, right? So I, I don't know what's going on with that country. And they have a lot of things, a lot of infrastructure, a lot of good people, because not all the people are like that. Something is going on. So uh, here comes another question I have for you. Today is philosophy. Yeah, Monday of philosophy. So... Are people evil by nature? I mean, do we have some evil from the time that we are born or the world transforms us sometime? What do you think? I think the world transforms person, the situation. You know, maybe, a, for example, you can... A, be a nice person when you was young, but um, when you go out to start to work in a toxic place with toxic persons and you have a relationship with a toxic uh, girlfriend. So that situation transform your, um, maybe your, 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 um, Come on. Yeah, because you it's like the traffic, you always need to drive a la defensiva. Be defensive. What do you say? To, to defensive. To be defensive. To be defensive, yeah. Uh, it's the same in life because if you always uh, receive bad situation or bad uh, things, you always will act like that. So, on the other hand, uh, imagine if you um, have a, conf not a bad, but maybe a hard parents, they could transform you also falling at the school. For me, the situation changed person. The people don't, uh, I don't know, maybe when the person, when the people um, were uh, younger, they are not like that, they are not evil. But maybe when um, they start to know other person or uh, other places. Uh, maybe they they change by the situation about uh, that environment. Okay, so for you is the world is the environment where you live. Yes. Okay, very good. Any other opinion on this? Public transportation teacher. <laughs> Public transportation made people evil. Traffic, right? It's like, oh my goodness. Traffic, right? I <laughs> think that all people is, is good, but it depends on the education of the people or the environment that people grow up because, you know, some people grow up in a very bad environment. So they suffer in their childhood. So when they grow up, so they are very evil, and I think returning to 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 the previous to the previous them to the previous topic, I search I search in Google and according to BBC articles, in these years, uh, have been at least one hundred one yeah one hundred sixty mass shooting across the U.S. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah and. Uh, this is more ch more shocking. In each of the last three years, there have been more than six hundred mass shooting, almost two a day on average. So, and and it's according to definition. Uh, 
While the U.S. does not have a single definition for mass shooting, the Gun Violence Archive defines a mass shooting as an incident in which four or more people are injured or killed. So it's less than that. It's not considered. So it's more than 1,600 in the last three years. And, and I think that uh, it's according to the freedom of the people too, because in in, in USA, the, the guns are cheaper anywhere. So in this country, it's more difficult to get them to get a gun. But if if it, it were easy, so in these people, it, it were the, the same case. So because I don't know why, but the the old people had a part of of evil in their in their nature. And the environment push push a lot, so they become sound a been a very evil person. But I think uh, it depends to the to the environment, but no the 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 society. Or maybe is the principal thing is the family, because you know it's your uh, poor. Um, if the place when you when you learn a lot about the life when you when you are a, a baby and grow up, so it's depend on the the situation that these people lived in their past so it they can be a good person or a, or a really evil, evil person and i think there is other person that are evil for for nature <laughs> i don't know why but they exist the people with no reason they are evil so yeah that's my opinion very good perfect thank you yeah i mean it's very interesting if you analyze, for example, about the serial killers, right? I really like to see that one uh, because I like to analyze the human behavior. Uh, I mean, in all the documentaries, movies, and anything that you may want to see, you are going to see that all the neighbors said, no, he was a normal person. He was very attempt. He was a very nice person. And then he killed a lot of people. So uh, it's crazy, right? It's crazy. And... Uh, uh, well, yeah, we can discuss about that one. There have been researchers. Maybe there is not a, an answer for that one. In my opinion, for example, I believe that all people, they have evil and good things. And depending on many things on the environment, you can become one or the other one, right? But it's very strange because I guess we, we discussed that before as well because, I mean, there are some kids that they were raised in a bad, bad environment with alcoholic people, violence, and a lot of things. And they grow up and they are very good people. They get married, they get a job, everything is fine. And also the opposite. There are people that they have good parents, that they took care of them, but they become evil. They go in and do lots of things that are not correct. So... It's, it's a very interesting thing. I guess probably we we'll, at, at least very soon we are not going to find the answer for that one. So and that's why I'm telling you. I mean, everybody sometimes we have screamed to somebody. We have done things that are not correct. Maybe not as crazy as hit another person or even worse, kill somebody, right? But yes, sometimes we say words or we do some actions that are not the correct ones. That happens to everybody. So everybody will have a little part of that one. But depending if you have love in your life, if you have people that they take care, probably that makes the difference, right? So if you were, this is another question. If you were like the president of the United States, what would you do to stop that situation? You are in charge. And people are there on the street saying, Hey, let's stop the guns. But I mean, the companies that sell the guns, and I mean, it's a major business, right? They say, no, we need the money for a, for the company. What would you do? No, not only 
not only give uh, the, the business, but uh, the people are uh, paying for or giving, uh, contrib contribute to the elections, to the uh, uh, parties, and, and uh, they have the, 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 the politicians have compromised with the, these people for the reason. I, I think there are one important thing is values, because I remember in the in the past, the, 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 I live in, in two worlds. I live in, in, in a world that uh, before the war in El Salvador, and uh, in that in that time in my, my town in, in Metapan, all of the people, many of them, has a gun. Uh, 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 with a belt, with a bullet in, around them, and then a gun in, in every side of the of the body, and they go to for a drink, and they have a, a, they discuss, they a fight, but they don't use the gun, and they, they have the guns, but uh, uh, the values are so strong in the past. The people uh, respect, the people uh, 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 obey. I, I saw uh, uh, when I was five, two guys uh, fighting in the street uh, in front of a bar, and uh, suddenly they put the gun off. And uh, there was a, a priest and the priest children and then stop, give me the guns. And the people <laughs> give the guns to the place. Eh? Yeah, I don't know. Eh? And they say, continue fighting without guns. And uh, the, the values was, were so strong in the past. And I seen uh, we need, uh, as a president, we need to promote the values in schools, the values in churches and in religions, every religion, whatever religion, promote the values, uh, the families, promote the values and, and uh, respect and uh, comprehension and uh, tolerance and all of that. That values that are important and uh, and uh, uh, obviously, give give attention, special attention, to to some people that is, is, is have tendency have a to to do evil. There are and and, and it's it's, uh, it's evident. We are when we are kids. There are some people that uh, see a dog, but there are some that uh, throw stones, and then you you start. Uh, uh, watch people uh, that uh, the, the, this kind of people that go for the evil line, and uh, this some important thing. Get back to the values in in every stage of the lives in the the, the, the first station, uh, the kindergarten, and uh, put emphasis on that. Not only knowledge. And uh, in in competence in, in in but in values is so important to restore the values. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're right, definitely, because we're living in a different world. I believe that technology has. Uh, what what I have seen is that every generation has less values than the previous one, right? But yes. because of technology, that has moved very fast, very, very fast. I mean, now everybody, they want easy money, a lot of sex. Um, nobody wants to get married or have kids. No commitment, right? No commitment with the society. They don't want to help. Many things have changed. In the past, it was different. I mean, yeah, you have your private life. Then inside your house, you can do whatever you want. But... Uh, yeah, you can help other people. You think about that one. And that has changed. And that is something that is happening around the world. I mean, in all the countries, in all the regions, all the values have changed. I mean, and that is happening, I mean, in all the generations, even in 
in the knowledge. I mean, uh, I remember here in Santa Ana, there is a building that is called Garcia Rossi that is a very nice building that is kind of old. I mean, it's from the 50s or something like that. Uh, and there is a, a signature there. It says that it was made by an engineer. I mean, an engineer. Uh, in the past, if you were an engineer, you know about everything, right? Yes. You were a complete engineer. You know about computers and about cars and about whatever. Now you have the system engineer that only sees the computers. And uh, we have programmer that is a different kind of person. Uh, I mean, it was more complete. Of course, many things have changed and you need to move in different directions. But people, they were complete and they have a lot of values. I mean, it was for granted that you are a good people, that yes, yeah, sometimes you can get angry, but that's it. I mean, nothing else happens. So, um, yeah, it's, it's difficult, right? Uh, when I was a kid, I, I used to think, I mean, the world is going to be much better later on. People are going to be more helpful. There is going to be a lot of good things. But you can see that, I mean, there is war again. I mean, it's kind of the same, right? Happening once and again and again. And I wonder why. Why do you believe that we always repeat the same mistakes that humanity has repeated over time? What do you think? Uh, sorry, Kierkegaard says that the people that don't know the history is uh, I don't know condemned I don't say I don't know is that war yeah to repeat to repeat the the the, the mistakes of the past we, we don't know the story in a in this time the, the people doesn't uh, see don't see don't see the the utility of no history. It's not important history because if I want to know something, I I look for it in Google or in something like that, and I I don't need to know nothing. <laughs> I only go Google and and tell me whatever I need to to know. And uh, it is not only the technical knowledge, but the the analytical knowledge. How, how that situation can change all of the general well being of the people and something like that. For that reason, we go cycling in a, this that the, that the philosopher thinks, cycles, cycles. There are, uh, we close cycles and open cycles and uh, that is the life, it's a repeating process. Uh, cycles and cycles and uh, we don't know what what was in the past, and for the reason we made the same mistakes in the future. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sad. And that is true what you say. I mean, nowadays, uh, I mean, I, I sometimes enter to the social media, and there are, I mean, only things that are not re relevant, right? Only fun, only dancing, only. I don't know, <laughs> which is, it's not bad. I mean, I mean, whatever, they can do whatever they want, but you are true. I mean, they don't care about that. They don't research. And that's why some people, you can see some memes, right? That uh, there is a joke and somebody does that thing and everybody's like, oh, how you did that one? For example, I was checking a, a meme. Uh, somebody published, I entered this aluminum balls into the microwave and it was very nice at the end. And somebody actually did it. I mean, they entered some aluminum into the microwave. And of course, <laughs> that was a disaster. I mean, that is something logical. You don't have to do that one, right? I mean, you don't have to explain that to a person. Don't do that one. It's like logical. But people, they don't think anymore. They see something and they say, oh, I'm going to do that one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, other story that I was reading is that some people sometimes just for taking a selfie or a picture, they, they die, right? They are in a high place and they are taking pictures. 
I don't know. Something is going on with the world, and I'm I'm so afraid now that the future is not going to be that good. Of course, it depends on many things, right? But I don't know. It's going to be difficult. And I thought it was going to be the opposite. With all this information, with all the technology that we have, it should be different, totally different, right? But let's see what happens. We don't know yet. Let's hope for the better and let's be ready for the worst. For that reason, we we need to do the best. We need to express love. We need to, to express comprehension. We need to express... Uh, uh, we we need to encourage. We don't know uh, what is the people confronting in a, a, a world that we say it is important for them. Even though our our beloved, our sons, our wife, our husband, uh, we don't know. I I I read stories about the man that uh, killed themselves, and the wife says, "I, I didn't know that. See, I I don't, I don't know." I see them normally, but uh, one word, we need to express love every time. We need to deal with anger very fast and uh, express love every every time. The, the, the love is a powerful, a powerful uh, mean to change. The love is so strong and this uh, genuine and authentic, we express love our, our neighbor, our, our co-workers, even though they are not good with us, we express love. Because we saw what the, uh, we receive what we saw. We, 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 what we put, we receive. And we don't waste the time uh, hating or getting anger. We need to, to express uh, the, the best sing of the world and sing always the best no not the, not let the bad scenes in our mind uh, uh, sing the best sing the best because in that way we we live longer and we live healthy and we we give a some contribution to the world because the world needs comprehension the world needs world there are so many bad there are so many evil and we make we can make the difference so uh, I totally agree with you uh, with that one. So love is the most important thing, right? And love has many faces, many ways. I mean, you can love a stranger if you give a little piece of breath, right? Just to say hi, right? Good morning. That is something very nice. People, they don't say good morning anymore. So just to go out and say good morning. How are you? I mean, do you need help to, to do that one? Something very basic, something very easy. Uh, let's see how it goes. But yeah, whenever you have the chance, love is the answer, right? Uh, let's see how it goes. We can say anymore. All right, we are going to finish the class. Nice. Only two, four more days and we'll finish, my friends. Imagine. So let's check the attendance. And the one one of today for Wendy Patricia. We are ready. Okay, I'm sorry. We are ready. All we right. Ready. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to other countries right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Daddy Samuel Galdames Monterosa. Sorry, present. present. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, Claudia answered for me. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was delayed. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. 
José Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Okay, so my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.